just a message of support for Kate not Kate 87 um, for those of you who don't know she has anorexia nervosa and she has been in I believe partial residential And I just watched this video about her experience, and I, Kate, honey, I 100% agree with you and support you speaking out, and absolutely 100% would have felt the same way. It is absolutely unacceptable, unacceptable that they did that. I understand that this is an impetus of pathology. What I don't understand is how is it that you are in this program, an intensive program for recovery and healing and therapy, and she's sitting there engaging in behaviors and they let her do it? Okay, I'm sorry. Every experience I've had with treatment, if you play with your food, if you engage in any sort of easy behavior, number one, your peers are allowed to call you out. And number two, staff doesn't allow it to continue. I find it disgusting that you voiced this concern and nothing was done about it. You know what? In an ED program like that, if somebody's not following the rules, Peace out. You know, she's violating the terms of that treatment plan. And in my experience, that's a, okay, you're not working the program, peace out. But no, she has to sit there and ruin the experience for people who are genuinely trying to fight triggers and fight through the toxicity and the loudness of an incessant ED voice telling you, focus on this person. In my opinion, it's total clinical negligence. It is a well-known fact that EDs play off each other. That situation should never happen. And once raised that it was affecting your recovery, and I promise you're not the only one. You're the only one who is strong enough to say something. that's clinical negligence, to, that they allowed her to continue engaging in these behaviors, to continue passive-aggressively competing with you guys, to continue violating the rules. No. Not okay. I agree with you, and I agree with Corky, and I am so fucking pissed off, and I am so sorry that happened. Really, it breaks my heart because, sweetheart, you've been walking the walk. You've been fighting through this program. It has been hell on you. And this? This is a slap in the face. It's a total fuck you from the program. It's not okay. It's hard enough for us to agree to participate in some sort of rehabilitative program. The last thing anyone needs is to make that decision and then have it be an exercise in watch the anorexic be allowed to sit there and demonstrate it. I don't fucking think so. Either you agree to the terms or get the fuck out. Because yeah, it does affect everyone else. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm gonna watch part two. I just need to get this rant out first. Because I am like seething. I'm sitting here just seething pissed. This should never have happened. This should never have happened. Hey again. Okay, so I finished part two. Um, as I'm sure you will figure I'm going to say, you're absolutely validated and I'm I'm comforted as well that 
the therapist understood what the deal was. Um, did you voice your wish that M would be removed so you could stay, or were you just hoping that he would arrive at that? Um, I also wonder if there's any kind of process where people can be held accountable for the rules of the program and violating it. Is there anyone to whom these staff members can be reported? I mean, this is bullshit, and it's a serious issue. And it is very compromising because of, you know, triggering and feeding off each other nature of dealing with ADs in a group. It's a serious, serious issue, and I absolutely understood why you had a hard time and why you don't want to go back. Um, I'm infinitely comforted that you're not giving up, and I'm, I'm really proud of you for going and all the work you did. I know how hard it is, and in the face of this girl doing that shit, wow, wow, that you put up with that for a week is monumental to me, like, I probably would have lost my shit, and I probably would have gone off on her. Or at least gone off in groups. As I said in my comment, if anybody interpreted what you said as taking the easy way out, they need to re-listen to your video. Um, under no circumstances did you give that impression at all. I think you very articulately explained and rationally and logically explained your reasons and I agree with all of them to be frank and honest about it. As far as going it the OP route on your own and how you feel more supported here, what do you think about us setting up a group environment. We could meet at certain times of day over webcam to eat. I'd love to do that with you. We could discuss CBT techniques. We could do therapeutic sharing if you want. I would totally be thrilled to do that with you. Also, also I want to talk a bit about what's going on with your heart. There is something that we all need to be very, very careful of on the refeeding path, and that is refeeding syndrome. I'm not sure if you're aware of it. Probably you are. Um, but when you have restricted profoundly and then nutrition is reintroduced to the body, it's a stressor initially. And it's very important not to reintroduce too much too soon and also to monitor things like cardiac function, etc. And I suspect that the reason you're having more PVCs despite your lights being okay is due to potentially just more stimulation from this influx of nutrients. Um, it is also of concern to me that you were told that PVCs never killed anyone. That's absolute bullshit. PVC runs can turn into VTAC. VTAC can be fatal. Straight up. Um. Yeah, it's a concern, you know. So, I would love for you to contact your cardiologist if you haven't. Um. It, it really bothers me how few treatment programs acknowledge the risks of refeeding. Um, and it, it is disgusting to me that you are told not to worry about it. Seriously. Um, it's a valid concern, especially considering the extent of your restriction and level of exercise. And now, 
switching to eating 100% of plan. I don't know what your plan is or how much it is, but it's a big change and that does affect your physiology and it is very possible that that's what your heart is responding to. So it's worth paying attention to. Your concern is valid and I would address it with the clinician when, you know, as soon as possible. That is not an excuse to not eat or not follow your plan. It just means it's potentially an issue and should be monitored. Okay, sweetie. I am rambling now. So much love. Be well. Peace to the flock. Talk to you soon. Bye, sweetheart.